Howdy and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. Now for you guys this is probably just another Witcher session uploaded the day after or a couple of days after the last one. But for me, I haven't played this game in a week and a half. I had a, about four or five sessions saved up on my computer and uh, I decided to take a week off from LPing. And uh, then I decided to catch up <clears throat> And upload the sessions that I had on my computer saved so I haven't played for about a week and a half so this is my first session for a, a while and I have been looking forward to getting back into this game so uh, as I recall we were about to meet with Rosa Van Atra for fencing lessons and she is not in her house she wants us to meet her somewhere Near a bridge, apparently. She wants us to... Yeah, she wants to meet us all the way down here. So what we'd be better off doing is probably fast travelling to the Tretagor Gate. Which I will do. Save us walking through the city. I mean, not that we dislike walking through the city. It's a very nice place. But I'm eager to see what Rosa is doing down at that bridge. And you're all like, don't give us that tosh. What you really want to find out is what you and Rosa are going to be getting up to down by that bridge. And you'd be partially right. Okay. What a fine morning. Now there is a game of Gwent that I need to play today. I thought I'd finished every last game of Gwent in the city. Well, not every single last one. I'm sure more games are going to be cropping up. For instance, Siggy Reuven has been mentioned as having a rather sterling card collection. I wonder if he'll be up for a game or two. Criminal Underworld boss. But uh, there was a merchant near a hairdresser's on the hill up to the posh part of town who I bought some quest items from, some statuettes and he played Gwen that I forgot about him in the last session that we had where we played a few games so I will be playing that man that's the only game plan for today so if you're not a Gwen person you don't have too much to worry about Nelf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always, Papa's orders it's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. That's it, get him Finally. Told. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. What about the train, hey? <laughs> do we care? We'll make it seem that we do care. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Yes, Geralt, stop, stop harping on and follow the woman. Ah. Get out of the way. Go walk. Who's betting this is going to lead us into trouble? In some form or another. Real humour. Eh? Should we run? Should we jog? I mean, it's, it's such a nice day, I just feel like walking along a bridge and soaking it all in. You know? Soaking it in. It looks like it's going to rain. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Oh, God. 
Yeah, we, we, <laughs> this is a recipe for a disaster. A recipe for us getting our ass kicked by her father, surely to God. We'll put up a bit of a fight, but I, I reckon she's gonna get her way. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Oh dear. Now on guard. I knew it. Okay. Oh man. We won't use signs again. I don't, know if, we, I don't know if we can actually use signs, but I, I will just stick to sword fighting. Oh, this is not good. We've got guards cheering us on here. I'll cheering her on probably. Sorry, Rosa. This is not going to end well for you. Yes. We barely broke the sweat. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. <laughs> you little I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Oh, you fell for it, bugger. Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Oh, you fell for it, Sonny Jim. Which your senses? Where's she gone? Far. She got Why? she got an odor that we should be sniffing out. Odor sweat. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. The seven cats. Got my eye on you. It reminds me of the riddle in Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard with... Yeah, with a Vengeance, isn't it? The riddle about the man that was going to say dies. Who met a man with seven wives. The seven wives and seven cats. Or was it seven sacks? I just can't remember. It involves seven cats at some point. Kittens, cats, sacks and wives. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you're going to say back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we'll tend to worry ourselves. Really? Really? Do we... Get them to leave with a bit of a uh, axe here, or should we? Should we draw steel? I mean, me personally, I want to draw steel and chop them down for their, you know, for the for their attitude. If it's not us or her that they're doing this to, it'll be some other poor woman in the future. We should really put them down like the, you know, horrible creatures they are, monster slayer. Got a pair of them right here. Yeah. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas. Yeah. We knew this was going to happen, and perhaps we should have just acted them away, spared their lives. But I can't help it. They deserve everything they get. The foul creatures. <laughs> Plus it'll give us a chance to strut our stuff for old uh, Rosa. So let's not screw this up. Geralt. 
I've already been clubbed once. Come closer. First taste of blood for some time. Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs, they got what they deserved. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. I take it our fencing lessons are over for good. Yeah, I kind of feel bad now because we could have we could have resolved that without violence, and I think Garrett would have probably chosen that method, you know, that route. But I just I just couldn't help myself, you know. I slap my hand and I won't do it again. Okay. <laughs> so what do we want to do now? What do we want to do now? Let's have a look at our quest log. <clears throat> Of course, we, we we should really be hot on the heels of Dandelion here. We need to go find Ziggy Reuven. Ziggy Reuven. The bathhouse. But we do have so many quests. Side quests. That we can... Uh, that we can do. So I'm, I'm quite tempted just to do a couple of these. Gonna talk to Triss about a statuette. Talk to Triss about that. We can also take a look at uh, talk to a supervisor about a monster committing horrendous murders under the cover of darkness. Might do those two actually. Do we have some contracts? Uh, an elusive thief in the marketplace. So I think what we'll do today is we'll take a, break, a little break from the main quest. Uh, we'll play that one game of Gwen, and then we'll do some side questing. We haven't done any side questing for for a while, actually. So we'll just take a look at some Witcher contracts and some secondary quests. We do also have um, treasure hunts available to us, uh, particularly like the Wolf School. Although we need to go to Kaer Morn for that. I don't know how to get there just yet. But there's also the cat school gear, which we're within range of now. So there's, there's so much to do, isn't there? So much to do. <clears throat> but to start with, I'm going to find look, look. a fast travel point, and then find that merchant again, and and play this one game of Gwen. And let me get my bearings. See if I can remember exactly where he was. I think it was on the way. If we this is Hyrax Square. We walked up here, and I think he was somewhere around about here. So if we actually have to travel to this bridge. That's ah, not there. Uh, Sorry. Uh, do excuse me. Do excuse me. I'm a little bit lost. Just trying to find somebody. Be gone, or I'll inform that. Uh, down here. Down here. In here, I think. Yeah. Yep, here he is. Mr. Merchant, we are returned. Welcome back. Thank you. So, interested in some of Eremas's mementos after all? They're still for sale. No, I'm here for some cards. Show me what you have. Just in case you have anything new, I'm going to come and look. 
Old wine from Toussaint, you say. Do I have that already? Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing else that I need. A loot. Shall we buy a loot? Right, okay. No loots today. But Gwent? Certainly. To matters less controversial, wouldn't mind playing a few rounds of Gwent. Now I remember saying a couple of sessions ago that I would try and play a couple of games with the North Guardian Empire deck because it is kind of semi-decent. You know, a lot of heroes, a lot of medics, slightly different style to what we usually do with the Northern Realms. So I'm going to give it a blast. Opponent's leader, oh he's playing North Guardian. Okay, so his leader cancels my leader's ability. We have two decoys, which could come in handy. But we'll see what else we get. I don't think, uh, so we've got one medic, that's good. We've got one uh, hero card, a level 10 uh, archer, level 10 rear attack. Uh, level sixes. So I'm going to redraw. Well, perhaps we don't have any. Well, we only have one spy in the entire deck, so a bit light on spies. I will change the biting frost. That's a nice one to get back. And I'll stick with two decoys just in case he has some spies, and I can use those to uh, decoys to play the spies back. So this is not too bad. A selection. He's going first. Okay, so we've got too many cards. We can afford to play our, our our big cards now because we can redraw them in the later rounds. So by playing the big cards now, we're going to force him to use more cards. Maybe use some of his powers early. So we'll play those. Anything you can do, mon ami, I can do as well. Play some spies. Ooh, Letho of Go- Oh, okay. Ooh, very, very nice. Kind of reluctant to play any uh, too many archers for fear of him having a bloody froth, uh, a fog. That should seal the victory for this round, I think. I think he's going to pass. Yeah, he has passed. Okay, we don't get a card for winning, unlike in the other deck, so but we do have two <clears throat> two medics. And a decoy, so we can play this medic twice. Three times if we need to. So we'll start by putting down a uh, putting down him back. He has a medic as well. No problem. There we go. Oh, he's got the same card. All right. He has to win two, don't forget. Still winning. I can still play the medic again if I want to. He's got one card left. He's ahead. So he's got 40 points, I can obviously beat that, so that we should be okay. Just for good measure. 
Okay. I don't know, I'm still not convinced. I mean, I, I still prefer the Northern Realm. I mean, it's obviously because I've been playing every single Gwent game from the start with that deck, with that, uh, you know, with, with that deck. So I'm used to the strategy evolved on the cards. Uh, I think the North Guardian deck is probably better when it's fully kitted out with all the bells and whistles. I just don't think we're there yet. Just, I just feel like if we were to come up against somebody with a decent deck, we'd struggle with the uh, with the Northern Realms, with the uh, North Guardian Empire. North Guardian Empire. Do excuse me. Right, what did, who was he? Who was he? Sounded like a, a Scoyotel type person. Was it you, Karen Ep Essenella Senesella? Was it you? Are you know about that? So that was again the only Gwent game I imagined playing today, unless something else crops up that we're unsure of or unaware of or unexpecting. Right then. I think we're going to go find Triss first and talk about this statuette. But before we even do that, there's a couple of things I want to read, and we could also do with finding a, a blacksmith to sell some of this uh, wares to. Now there is a book in here that we picked up uh, as a quest item. In fact, there's two of them, so we'll read those first. The first one is entitled "Change Your Life," a handbook. So what does this do? And so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a liberty and broad and extraordinaire from Nazaire, with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zeracania, used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boot, bits of strap and a burst barrel had taken on so much water that two ells more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood on dry land and that was all that mattered. With not a living soul in sight and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily the juice nearly poured out my ears, and then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. It was then I came upon the strange plant that would change my life to the end of my days. Ignorant of its value at this time, I frivolously used it for kindling, Yet as soon as it began to smoulder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light, and the coastal breeze whisked all my troubles away. I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching the mis miraculous weed and its properties. <laughs> yeah. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. Here is how to begin. And here is the Curious Cases of Virtuous Vega. Can there be such a thing as a virtuous whore? Vega asked herself this question each and every morning, and each morning she swore she would prove to the world that practising the world's oldest profession does not preclude virtue. This determination augmented not only to her own troubles, but also those of Gaspard de Bruel, her mother's long-time friend, who was a personal favour, had hired Vega to work in his establishment. The Golden Garter. Poor Gaspard had to listen to the constant complaints of customers who would charge into his office in a huff about Vega's behaviour. Yet the girl clung firm to her principles and her ironclad drive to see them through. She would never perform with any light slit and would avert her gaze with a powerful blush upon catching sight of the male member. Gaspard's greatest headache, however, was the fact that virtuous Vega never, ever accepted any payment for her services. Strange books, it must be said. Strange books indeed. Let's go talk to Triss about this statuette. See if she can shed some light on its origins or anything that may be of use. Not actually going to send us on a wild goose chase, but it could be one that may benefit us in the long run. Look awfully suspicious to me, tramp. What do you call me? You call me a tramp? Hey, you. Why are you looking for adventure? Where is this bloody thing taking me? Is she back in her house? Or is she, is she somewhere else now?
Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. So who is she staying with? Landlady. Landlord. Oh dear, so we've upset the apple cart here. Triss! Oh, Triss! Wherefore art thou? I come with a gift. Rose of remember. Oh! Yes, Geralt? Ah, yes, exactly. The Rose of Remembrance. Picked it up in a previous abode. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Warning? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. And down to business. Take a look at this figurine, will you? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Well, this is a real person. Oh my gosh. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. Let's hope not. Let's just hope that something goes right for a change. A nobleman comes back from the brink of statuesque form, pays us a nice healthy sum of crowns and we could be on our way. In Arlen, Dwane, Ar Ais. No! Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. I'm obviously confused. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Huh? Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here. Take this. Have a good time. Paid the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. 
Where the hell are we? 30 crowns! Not bad! Plus a glyph of Axie. And a quest completed! Well, that'll do. <laughs> What's the name of that quest now? I should really take note of these when it says quest complete. I'll know when I come across the nobleman's statue. Right? There we go. From his tale, they gathered he had been compressed into an object by the sorceress Coral some years ago. And that's as much as we know. Oh well, at least we saved him. What's next? Well, following the thread. Yeah, that sounds like a decent place to go next. Talk to some supervisor about some kind of horrendous murders. And apparently we're going to end up in a luxurious manner at some point. Now this i got to see. There are a lot of crooked houses in this part of town. In fact, that's the crooked one. That's the really crooked one. I would not be doing his job. Not a chance. I absolutely hate heights. Southern Gate. Have I been here before? This part of town new to me? No, I've been here. Oh yeah, I know this. It's the, the bottom level village. Although I probably haven't come this way th through before. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Okay. Who was this other bloke? Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. Huh. It's not that idiot again, is it? Made Bilbury. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Nice. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Thanks. So long. Another grim task. Okay, let's get our Witcher senses on here and see if we can make sense 
Whoa. We'll start with the body and work our way out. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Ah, that was quick. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. A wounded monster and footprints? Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Gotta be an Ekimara. An Ekimara? Have we come across those before? I don't believe we have. Check our bestiary we can, just to double check it, but I don't think we have. We've got an Ekimara decoction at some point. But never come across the Ekimara itself. But I imagine it's going to be some form of a vampire if it's sucked to blood. Oh, we have come across an Ekimara. I stand corrected. So, vampire oil. Weak to Igni. Seeing as we're in here, let's take a quick peek in the lootables. Not interested in platters and alcohol. Or water, so you can keep your goods, thank you very much. Find this monster. Follow the footprints. It's a good place to start. Jumped into the water? Must have done. Probably have gone over the, to the other side of the river. Alright. Can I come out of swim? I can. And I'm seeing a treasure chest right here No sign over here. The, the, the trail ended on that blooming pier, but we got no updates or anything to do with the quest. So another quick nose. There was a separate pile of blood. What should I say? Puddle. There, there's some black puddle spots of blood, but tracks end here. Yeah. Gotta look for prints on the other side. Ah, oh, blooming heck. See, I was too far ahead of the game there. Too far ahead of the game. I had to bloody examine them first before coming over. Right, where are we looking now? Ah, what is this? Dead mouse? Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. So we've determined that it's definitely an Ekimara, and it looks like it could well be in here, so I'm going to prepare myself, just in case, get the vampire oil on. Alright. Maybe even we could pop some black blood potion, couldn't we? We've never used it yet. Something different. <laughs> 